In this video, we're going to focus on how we can create a multi-level pie or donut chart. In this case, you can see here a donut chart, but the same will work exactly for a pie chart that we're going to make as well in this video. So let's start to explore how to do this. In this video, we're going to focus on one of the viewers question, which is how to create a multi-level pie chart and donut chart in Chart.js. So this question came from one of my other videos about how to uh, create a cumulative sum data point values for the stack bar chart, which is a very advanced topic, but quite interesting. And then in here, if I scroll down here, eventually I saw this and I was honestly surprised because I thought this was a very well known fact, but it's not, which was this, uh, because after some conversation, this was the question, can a, uh, can Chart.js do a multi-level pie chart? Well, yes, it can. So let me just create one here. Luckily, it's very straightforward to do. So what we're going to do here, first of all, just go to charges3.com, getting started. And what we're going to do here is we're going to grab here the default code. You might notice this, for some reason, my Firefox works fine on it, but Google Chrome gives me this error. Anyway, copy the code here. And if you want to understand what this chunk of code does, make sure you watch this specific video that explains the JavaScript all bit. And we paste this in here. Once we paste it in here, I'm going to just cut out the title, put the title in here, save this, and then refresh. Once I did this, what I want to do is the following. I would like to convert this, of course, into a beautiful pie chart. To do this, make sure first that this is a bit smaller. We narrow this down. And once we narrow this down, what I want to do here is say this will be a pie chart. Save that, refresh, and there we are. Let's remove the scales as well because the scales are now not necessary because a pie chart has no scales. So save that, and there we are. So how do we create a multi-level pie chart? Well, basically, it's very straightforward. Let's copy all of this, put a comma, save that, and there we are. So now we have a next level. So maybe we want to go even deeper. We have another one, save that, and. There we are, we have now a triple level, as you can see here. Of course, the legend here will not really move, but basically this is the essence of a multi-level pie chart. So if you would say, well, what about donut chart? Well, donut chart has exactly the same options. Save this, refresh here, and there we are. So now we have this beautiful donut chart, and of course we could even narrow this down. You can say you cut out, and then we can do here, uh, let's say 90%. Um, let's see if that would be uh, visual or visible. Refresh here, and there we are. So we can see here, all right. So we have one that's 90%, but of course, the others are not. So what I want to do here, I'm going to cut this out and put it in here. So that would mean that every slice now will be very, very narrow. There you are. So this is probably not the best, I would say here, maybe. We do 85%, save that. There we are, and of course we could do rounded borders, etc., etc. But this is basically how you can create a multi-level pie chart or donut chart. To add another ring, the ring will be always inside, added within here. You just put in a new data set in there. If you enjoyed this video and maybe you want to learn something more advanced, maybe you want to put in a pie chart or in a donut chart, just the values in the center. I would highly recommend you check out this video here, how to add text and value at the center of a donut chart in chart.js.